Today I'm going to be talking to you about XBMC, uh, which stands for Xbox Media Center. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is go to xbmc.org, and this is the web page you'll see, and click on the download tab at the top of the page, and you'll see a number of different platforms that you can install for. I know most of you will probably be on Windows, so you will choose Windows. And it's a very straightforward, easy install, so I'm, I'm not going to bother showing you how to do that because it's very, very simple. Uh, just like any normal Windows installation, and there's no hidden spyware or malware or none of that sort of thing in there that you got to be aware of. Uh, I'm on Linux, so uh, I, I'm not going to worry about installing this for now. I've already got it installed but I'm going to show you what you're going to do after you have it installed. So we'll go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to click on XBMC. I've got it pinned up here but if you were on Windows it will be under your start menu listed as XBMC. So after it's installed go ahead and click on it open it up. And this looks a little bit different than what you're going to have when you first open it because I already have this installed but I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. Um, so that you'll know how to install the third-party repository Xfinity so that you can have the extra add-ons added in for you quickly and easily and it'll change your background to this when you're done so uh, don't worry when your background doesn't look like this at first it will by the time we're done but what you're going to do is when you first open XBMC you're going to see your home page and what is called the menu bar and across it you will see whether pictures, videos, music, programs, and system. I have some additional ones on mine, but that's because I already have this installed, and that's what we're going to get to right now. You can uh, control this by either using your mouse or your keyboard. Actually, the keyboard is the easiest way. Use your arrows on your keyboard, your enter button to choose something. So what you're going to want to do is scroll over to System, and once you see the System highlight, you will then see a drop-down come underneath, and you're going to choose File Manager. And in the File Manager, you will not see this .xfinity. I, like I said, I already have it installed. But how you're going to do that is you're going to click on Add Source. And this will pop up and it'll say enter the paths or browse for the media locations. Where it says none, you're going to go ahead and click on and you're going to type in a web address and that will be http colon forward slash forward slash xfinity dot xunity talk dot com and then you would click done and underneath you'll see where it says enter a name for this media source you will click there and you will type in dot xfinity and then you would click done but as I already have this up here I'm not going to worry about doing that so you go ahead and click done and when you're finished this will appear on your list the dot xfinity then in the bottom you will see a home button we're going to go ahead and click that and that will take us back to our menu bar and once back at your menu bar you're now going to go back to system and in the drop down choose settings and then in the new box that pops up if you look on the left hand side you'll see add-ons <clears throat> click on add-ons and from this list you're going to choose install from zip file then what you're going to do is you're going to browse to the .xfinity repo that we added in and at the bottom of the list that pops up, you're going to choose plugin.xunitytalkwizard-1.1.0.zip. You'll go ahead and you'll click on that. And in a moment, you will see it says Xunity Talk Wizard Add-on Enabled. Now on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, choose the Home button. Now, back on your home page, you are now going to go to programs in your menu bar. And you'll see I have several things that are listed here because I've already installed this. But what you're going to be looking for is XUnity Talk Wizard. You are going to click on that and when the pop-up comes up you're going to choose yes. 
I'm going to choose no because I've already done this and it's already installed on mine. You choose yes. It'll take a few minutes because it has to download the, in, the zip file and it has to enable it. Uh, when it's done, it'll let you know. So in the meantime, I'm going to click no since I've already done this. And then, once, once you are all finished, you want to be on your menu, home menu screen and you need to exit XBMC. All right, and then you want to restart it. So open it back up again. And at this point, you will then see the same thing I have here. You will see uh, the new background. There will be a new look to your menu bar with this wood grain on it. You will now see new items on your menu bar, including games and XUnity search and karaoke and to the far right you will see toolkit so um, and you'll also notice that there are, are going to be a number of different add-ons that are going to appear pinned underneath videos and under music um, and a couple of items underneath programs so uh, the next thing you want to do is go into system and on the drop down choose settings again go to add-ons and you want to go to get add-ons and at this point you'll see a list these are all individual developers repositories that have been enabled by the installation of the talk wizard so what you want to do now is choose all add-ons and these are all categorized according to different categories of add-ons what you want is the video add-ons and the one that you're going to really want to install is the one channel plugin uh, is not installed by default it is there all you have to do is click on it and mine says uninstall because it's already currently installed but in your case it'll say install just click that and let it download and install and you can do the same thing with these other add-ons uh, go through them you can see which ones are enabled because to the right it will say enabled if it says broken just leave it be um, if it says nothing at all that means it's not currently installed and as you hover over individual add-ons on the right hand pane you can see underneath a picture of the add-on it will give you a brief description of what that add-on is so you can go through and install other add-ons that you may be interested in and if one is enabled that you do not currently want uh, it, you can just go to it and choose either uninstall or disable and once you have those all set up how you want them we can go on from there uh, one word of note is there is a YouTube add-on down here as well and it's usually enabled by default of course to use that add-on later on I'll show you in another video that you will need to input your username and password in that to get that working correctly. Uh, and there are a few of these add-ons that do require a, uh, a free account, such as uh, the Film On account uh, add-on, excuse me, which is also a very nice add-on, but that is for live streaming uh, television, the Film On. But the one channel add-on is one in particular that uh, we are going to use is, is my primary add-on that I use. It You can pretty much find any TV show or movie that you could want to watch and you can even uh, enable subscriptions features in this and we'll get into that in another video which makes it quite nice because then things that you subscribe to will appear on your menu bar a couple of new items will appear on here uh, one for movies and one for TV shows and you can scroll through and just choose your TV show or movie that you want to watch and begin watching them. Uh, we will do that in another video. Uh, another quick word of note that I want to mention is now uh, if you notice in your top right hand corner there is the date and time. If you're wondering what the star is in the bottom left hand corner that opens a favorites tab. Uh, currently there is nothing favorited in here but if you was to favorite TV shows or whatnot it would go in here I personally like to use the subscriptions feature better uh, in one channel but not everything not all the add-ons will un allow you to put them into your subscriptions um, but the favorites function here would work well for that and you'll see a small power button as well 
in the bottom left hand corner uh, exit there will exit just XBMC these other items here will actually affect the actual system itself such as power off system that's going to shut your computer down if you choose reboot it's going to reboot your computer so if you're just wanting to exit solely XBMC choose the exit button and I think that's all for now and in the next video we'll go ahead and, and, and go through how to use the one channel subscriptions feature and set that up to where you have quick access to TV shows and movies on your menu bar it's not a very difficult thing to do it could be a little time consuming to set it up exactly how you want it depending on how many TV shows you like to follow or movies that you may want to keep in there but we'll do that in another video and then we'll also cover in another video yet uh, some basic settings in XBMC to kind of get some better things out of XBMC that you may want and I personally like to turn off this RSS feed as well but um, we'll do that later thanks for watching